everyone. Right now the MMDA are trying to deal with this huge queue of buses in the busway. There's probably 40 plus buses, so they're trying to move everyone forward. Unfortunately what happens sometimes is one or two buses will stay here longer than they're meant to. And then all of the poor commuters who are stuck on these buses end up having their commute extended by 30 minutes or more. So what they're doing right now is if the bus has passengers, they'll let them unload, but they're not letting them stop here to pick up. They have to pass through so they can clear the backlog. For anyone wondering about the private lanes, they're flowing fast, there's no traffic build up, there's no issues here. But imagine if these buses were outside of the busway, the mayhem they would be causing. That's one of the big, big benefits of these barricades and of having a dedicated busway. And there you go, with a little bit of work, they've managed to clear that huge backlog and the busway is open again. I just hope that these bus operators can really coordinate better with each other and not cause these huge queues and really make commuters' lives harder. And you'll see, nobody lost out here. There's not lots of commuters waiting around. Nobody got hurt. So it can actually work much better. The team just moved on to the next stop where, again, there's a big backlog of buses, although not as bad. The weird or silly thing is, the buses are stopping even if there's no passengers. So basically, they're just waiting there and saying, hey, I need a passenger. But look at what they're doing to every bus behind. It should be, if there's no passenger ready to get on the bus, just pass through, do not stop. This is not a terminal. The idea of the consortium is that it doesn't matter which bus picks up a passenger because the money is shared between them. But of course, in reality, they seem to operate more like independent operators and each bus wants to try and pick up a passenger to earn a little bit of money. So really, imagine if this was government owned, that would be much better. This is Metro Manila, every mayor could kick in some money, buy some buses, have government employed bus drivers and really operate this as, you know, a world class busway, not this, you know, what these private companies are doing with the busway. Right now there's heavy traffic northbound Edsa just past SM North. It looks like the barriers have been moved to make the U-turn into two lanes again. As far as I know, the agreement between MMDA and Quezon City is that the U-turn will only be one lane. So it looks like the city enforcers are moving the barriers again, converting it back to one lane. And over here they've apprehended these four taxis for obstruction or illegal parking. I've lost count the number of times they've issued tickets to taxis parked here, but the problem continues, so maybe the tickets need to be more expensive. Either way, they are issuing them now, and then they'll move them on. They just can't afford to have terminal taxi terminals here on Etza because of the traffic it causes. And they're just issuing a ticket to this vehicle now for parking on the sidewalk. Now southbound Edsa, Pasai area, there was a lot of traffic. The reason being all these taxis parked here and then the buses also stopped here for some reason. If you look right next to the taxi, there's a big sign here. It says no loading, unloading, parking, stopping, waiting anytime. It's a little bit hard to see on camera because the reflections from the sun. But to the human eye, it's easy to read. So far, this driver hasn't been able to show his license. Instead, he's been showing previous MMDA tickets. So he seems to be a regular at getting ticketed. And they just stopped this motorcycle rider now. Both him and his passenger have a valid helmet, but unfortunately he's driving in slippers. So that's a 500 peso penalty. And right now they're issuing a ticket to this taxi parked here. There's often PUVs along here because of all the eateries and they're just writing out a ticket to this vehicle parked on the sidewalk. There's no driver, so that would be unattended illegal parking, 2,000 pesos. And then they just leave the ticket under the windscreen wiper. If the ticket isn't paid, then the driver won't be able to renew the registration. There's very heavy traffic on Edsa northbound right now. The reason is the manhole is opened up, so I guess the DPWH will have to go here and fix this as soon as possible because the traffic it's causing is just absolute mayhem. So what they're trying to do now is split the traffic early. So instead of everyone building up here and then having to stop and merge, split it further along and hopefully things will flow a little bit better. So apparently this is a PLDT manhole 
and then there's wiring inside but there's no markings on the outside so I'm not exactly sure how they've determined that and in fact this gentleman here in red said he's from PLDT and he's trying to coordinate now it seems like splitting it earlier has worked out because now the traffic is flowing much better so this is how it's meant to look and although it doesn't say PLDT you can actually see that there's the pattern there of their logo it's very subtle but it is there in fact I found one in another area and this is what it's actually meant to look like so you can see the other one on Etzer is also massively worn down and it looks like DPWH just arrived now although I think this is really under PODT maybe they can take quicker action like a metal plate or something at least in the meantime <laughs> So although the gentleman from DPWH said they could put a temporary plate down, the guy from PODT said their truck is just nearby and they'll be able to do a permanent repair right now. So hopefully very soon because it's terrible timing, everyone trying to go to work. The guys from PODT just arrived, but I don't see any truck and I don't see any replacement cover. So it turns out those guys were only sent here to take photos and report back. I feel kind of bad for this enforcer. He's been waving his hands for, it must be 45 minutes already. The sun is shining, you've got all the pollution from the cars. It's not easy, look, I can see he's wiping the sweat off now. But uh, someone has to do it and thankfully someone is doing it. So an MMDA truck just arrived now. Please tell me they have a metal plate in the back. Yes, thank you so much MMDA. My gulai, PODT, I don't know where you are. So they've had to cut off the first two lanes while they do this quick fix. This is only a temporary fix until PODT can come through and install the proper cover. I'm moving way back because I'm worried if this thing swings out. But like I said, they have closed off two lanes of traffic just to make sure it's safe for everybody. I'm not a big fan of these metal plates, but at least as a temporary fix to open up the highway at full capacity, it's good enough for now. And there you go. The temporary cover is in place now. It's good that the MMDA have been investing in these kind of vehicles. Actually, they have a lot more hardware now, so their capabilities are much better than before. Well, it's not ideal, but at least the road can be used now.